friends here i will be talking about split and join methods and these two methods are very very important to implement real time scripts and here split method will produce output as a list by taking input as a string and join method will produce output as a string by taking input as a list and here i am going to discuss very basics about these two methods anyway while writing our real time scripts we will see in detail about the uses of split and join methods now let me go with that see here i have taken a simple variable uh, of course that is a string variable now let me apply split method on this anyway split is applicable to apply on a string or on a string variable now see the result yes you are getting output as a list because you are having some values which are separating with comma and all values are there inside of a square brackets there is nothing but a list so here as of now we applied our split method on a string variable not only on a string variable directly you can apply on a string also let's say i am python that is my string so on that string i applied our split operation method so that you are getting output as a list that's fine and one more thing you can store this operation result into a variable let's say my string split result equals to and then you can print that variable that's fine yes you are getting your output now let me comment these two lines so first of all your split method is giving output as a list and that list consists of some values or elements how your split is creating these values or elements or items from a given string very simple now if you observe your string here there is a space 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 so wherever space is there there split will happen so that you it is going to create values for your list now this is first value is second value about third fourth and then fifth that's what you are getting that's fine not only a space by default split will divide or split your given string based on space new line tab and carries return and all these characters are called white space characters that's fine now let me take a new string let's say my new string equals to now here i am taking this is slash n about slash t python slash or split method that's it now let me apply on this variable our split method and see the result so before going to observe our result just observe here here there is a space here there is slash n new line tab and then carry return and then space now wherever we have all these white space characters their split will happen so that this is first value is second value about third fourth fifth and then sixth now let me save it and run it and observe the output yes you are getting six values in the output of a list and that is based on wherever white space characters are there that's it now here i want to split my given string based on my required character yes you can do it let me take same string and here let me print our new string dot split so whatever the character based on which character you want to split that character you have to mention inside of quotations as an argument for your split method let's say wo now let me save it and run it so once again before observing your output see this is about so here wo is there that means this is first value then wo will be removed their split will happen then python yeah here there is wo that's it now save it and run it see the result yes not only wo you can also provide sequence of characters let's say i am providing python save it and run it observe the output so here python is there that python will be removed and here split will happen so now this is first value this is second value suppose if we have python in multiple places let's say i am including here also python now here python is there here also python is there that means up to slash t that is first value 
स्लैश और स्पेस सेकंड वैल्यू देन स्पेस मेथड इज थर्ड वैल्यू नाउ सी द रिजल्ट यस दैट्स व्हाट यू आर गेटिंग दैट्स फाइन सो दिस इज अबाउट सिंपली स्प्लिट मेथड नाउ लेट मी गो विथ जॉइन मेथड सो फॉर दैट आई एम कमेंटिंग दिस एंटायर कोड now let me define a list variable let's say my list equals to i am taking some values now if you want to apply join method on your list the syntax is like first you have to start with quotations it may be single or double then dot join then you have to pass here your list and this method will produce output as a string now if you want to print that string just use print function for this result or if you want to store this result into a variable just take my string equals to in this way and then you can print that variable let me print now that variable save it and run it observe the output you are going to get an exception see the result type error while doing this syntax sequence item 0 expected string instance but integer found see you can apply join method on your list if list consist of only string data types now instead of this so as of now your list consist of all our integers now instead of that i am taking my list equals to let's say some strings a comma b comma c now save it and run it and observe the output see you are getting output as a b c so as of now these three are your values now simply it is joining all these values without any delimiter between them because if you observe here immediately i started and closed single quotation instead of that suppose if i provide some space here space dot join your list now space will be added between your values which are there in your list see the result instead of space you can take any other character delimiter let's say x now see the result x space now see the result a x space b x space then after c you don't have any values that's why it is not joining with this x space instead of x you can also take some hyphen any delimiter you can take that's it so this join method is very very important while implementing real time scripts okay thank you for watching this video